back, everybody. My first guest tonight is an actress you know as the co-creator and co-host of Red Table Talk. She has just written a new memoir, Worthy. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jada Pinkett-Smith. Hey. Hey, Jada. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for being here. Welcome back to 2020. I know. <laughs> Let's do it all again. Let's do it all again. How have you been? It has been four years since we sat down together. It's been a while. I yeah. was hoping, I was looking forward to seeing you, but I get to see you on the screen. We'll have to do it again. We'll have yeah. to do it again. Um, in that time, in those four years, you, you've written a new book. It's getting a lot of attention yeah. called Worthy. Mm -hmm. And it's, I love the cover. I think that's a photo made up of photos of you. Yes, it's all the thousands of Jadas in that one Jada head. <laughs> You contain multitudes, is yes, that what you're saying? Yes, exactly. Now, this, this book has been making a ton of headlines in the last few days. Are you surprised it's getting so much attention, or are you surprised by what in the book is getting that attention? Well, no, I, I knew it was going to get some attention. I am surprised that it's getting as much attention as it is, but, you know, I think it also has a lot to do with uh, there's, there's not a lot of programming on TV, so... <laughs> Well, there's not a lot of programming like this. I mean, people are very interested in you and your family. Yeah. You know, I, you know, people were really surprised to find out that you and your former husband, still husband or former husband? He's still, that's, that's still my, that's still my man. Okay. You know, I, I, yeah, still my man. I, you know, as I was explaining, you know, part of my healing process, I came into my marriage with Will so young. And so all of the, idealism that I had around husband and marriage and I've really in in my process through therapy and what have you just learning how to break down all of those romanticized fantasies that I came into this marriage with and really learning to have acceptance for the reality of what it is and just seeing Will in a brand new light so um you know, just for my own healing, I just call us life partners. But he's he's my dude. He's he's my right hand. Well, one of the things that surprised people that you you've revealed is that you and Will have lived separate lives since 2016. Yeah, and, we did. And, and you know, and yeah. you and I have also lived separate lives since 2016. <laughs> it's not as, and me and Will actually. So it's kind of like a three way You're not right. having the same life together, exactly. which I think might might make headlines tonight. But, but here's the thing. I don't think that the public has a right to know the inner lives of celebrities. I just, well, yeah. I just don't think that's a given. But you and your family have been very open with yeah. people as, you know, as sort of like a gift to your fans to know about your lives. Why was this one item, like a juicy item, something that you decided not to share until recently? You know, I wasn't ready. You know, I wanted, listen, uncoupling consciously is a very difficult thing, right? And so in this process of learning how to, you know, I had a lot of things I had to resolve so it wasn't like a war in public. I didn't want that, like for Will and I. And so I really needed time to get myself together. And in that process of my healing, you know, just realized like, do I really? want to be divorced? Do I really want to be separated? And then the Oscars came. And believe it or not, it's like, it's crazy how intense events can bring people together. Because once the Oscars happened, Will and I got closer. Um, and so really, that are. actually, that actually helped. It, how so? Well, because it was a, it, it, it was a storm. You oh know? my gosh, it's, it's, it's the slap heard around the world. Right, and so, you know, before the Oscars occurred, Will had just finished a very difficult film that I cannot name, but he played a slave, and um, he, a lot of things came up for him, and he asked if we could get back into some therapeutic spaces together. And so we, were start, we started doing some really deep work together, and so when he got nominated, he was like, there's nobody I want to share this moment with more, you know, than you. And I was really touched because it wasn't a guarantee that I was going to go with him. And he was like, will you go with me? And I said, absolutely. So I didn't go to the Oscars necessarily as Will's wife. But 
When the event occurred, I knew in that moment that I wasn't going to leave his side. And I knew in that moment that I didn't go to that theater as his wife, but I was leaving as his wife. And I was going to stand by his side no matter what. And that's when I knew. I was like, I love this man. Well, that's really fascinating um, that it was sort of like a moment of, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it was a moment of sort of emotional crisis that brought you together. Absolutely. That's exactly what it was. You and called really, that a holy slap. I called it I called it the holy joke, the holy slap, and holy lessons. That's All right. Holy lesson. Called. Take me to church, Sister Smith. <laughs> Teach me the lesson. Teach me the holy lesson of that moment. You know, I had to learn not to take any of it personally. And I had to learn, I learned so much about shadow. My shadow, Will's shadow, just everybody's shadow that was in the collective Chris shadow. Rock's shadow, because I think Will slapped it right out of him. <laughs> you know, everybody's shadow, <laughs> right? They had to go look for it in the wings. You know, and so in that time, really learning about unconditional love and learning that we're all here trying to figure out this thing called life and seeing how there was such a, you know, this, this spiritual clash on the stage, you know, years and years of stuff between Will and Chris that just came to a head, you know. And oh, I didn't know there was stuff between the, I didn't know there was stuff well, between the two. that's a story for them, you know what I mean? But yeah. But you know the story. Of course. And you won't you won't tell me this. Are you hey, part listen. of the story? Are no, you part no, of the no. story? I'm actually not. I'm actually not. We have to take a quick break, but stick around, everybody. We'll be right back with more Jada Pinkett Smith.